girl. We haven't seen you around for a long time. Why well, are you not coming by the well so often these days? What's up with you? Do tell. I actually wanted to show you these amazing sandals I got at the market. They're a little bit worn out. They're secondhand, but you know. Vintage items are all the rage these days and it's really good for the climate as well. Did you know that fashion is like one of the uh, most damaging industry for the planet? I'm sorry, what? <gasps> You're late? You're late on your period and you let me go on about my stupid sandals? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But what did you do, girl? Did you fall around? <gasps> you did. Oh my god. With who? With who? What did you do? Please tell me. Oh my god. That Roman? I told you he was trouble, girl. I told you. I know he was hot, but look at you now. What did you do? Are you serious? You're you're fucking with me. You're fucking with me. You're serious. And you did what? Did you I thought you were, you know, a little bit of a prude, but I guess I was mistaken. Mary, 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 Naughty Mary. They should call you like that. Naughty Mary has a nice ring to it. Wow, I cannot believe. So when was that? That was then? Oh my god. And I was just like, I, I had no idea. You could have invited me. Oh, come on. I love parties. Why should you be the only one who has fun? But anyway, what happened? Where's that Roman anyway? He left? Well, they're always on some mission or something. You know... I told you to not fool around with a guy in the military. But they're hot though. So, you guys did it? How was it? Oh, meh. You know, it's just the first time. It's gonna be better next time. But did you use any protection? Please, Mary, don't. Don't even try. I gave you my my little pig skin sockets I, I gave it to you well yeah how else well that's how babies are made I told you to be careful besides don't you have a boyfriend that carpenter guy what's his name Jillian Joseph you guys have been like kind of like seeing each other for six months or something, right? You're exclusive? <gasps> you're so naughty. Naughty Mary. So while your Joseph was building a freaking house, you went to that party and you banged that Roman. And now your parents late. Mm-hmm. I mean... You're kind of like deserving what's happening to you. But you know what? It's better to be sure. Mm, here, take this stick and pee on it. I will tell you if you're pregnant. Do it. Well, there's a hole right there. The toilet is here. Just go. I'm not looking. Oh. Do you need some water? Okay, just do it. We need to be sure. Done already? Okay. Alright. Give it to me. Okay. It takes a few seconds, okay? <laughs> oh, it's positive. It's positive. It means you're pregnant, girl. No, he's a nice guy, but he's not that nice. 
why do you expect him to be the father who steps up? Please. But you know what? Actually, there's no need to panic. I just had the most marvelous idea. I was going to keep that idea for myself just in case something would happen to me if I was in your situation because it's the kind of idea that you can only use once. That's the one. That's it. And then no one can ever use it again. So it's kind of precious, but you are in need and you're my friend and you're desperate and you're a whore. So I'll help you. So what this is what we're going to do. Basically, we're going to we're going to tell anyone it's the son of God. No, I'm serious. We're going to say that God impregnated you that an angel because people like they like the details they, they love the details they like the bigger it is the easier it is to to believe it so you're gonna say that an angel visit visited you and said that you're like you're such a good girl and that um god has decided to like basically um have a child with a human and they chose you people are not gonna question it i mean Look at you. You're hot. Besides, what about like all the Greek gods and the um, Roman gods? They always do that. I mean, Zeus had like, what, 40 mistresses who were human? It's not gonna shock anyone. But this time, we're gonna say that it's a new god. It's it's the god that um, those Jewish believe in. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna say that this one this one impregnated you because he has never done stuff like that before so it needs to be something new so we're saying that you're pregnant with the son of god and then um when your son is born it's a win-win everyone is like telling you that you're the best um people are gonna be supportive it might even start a new religion i mean who knows and imagine all the money that we could make i mean that you could make <laughs> well it is my idea after all so i expect some royalties or some shares in the hypothetical new religion that we're gonna create but basically that's the plan you tell joseph you're like babe i don't know what to tell you but an angel visited me. Bottom line, I'm pregnant. Pregnant with a baby that's not your child. It hurts, but you get to be the stepdad of the son of God. And that's like pretty good. Mm. Also, Joseph is like a feminist and he's all for like girl empowerment and stuff like that. So it's, he's gonna be okay. He's gonna be like, he's gonna be such a simp. He's gonna be such a simp for you. Like, you don't need to worry. So you're just gonna be like, okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna birth the son of God. This is happening. This is the situation. We can't do anything about it. Uh, if he goes like, oh, maybe you're lying. Maybe you cheated on me. Maybe you cheated on me with a hot Roman. Then you just go, all right, all right. Let's say, let's say I did. And so what? I'm gonna be stoned to death because I cheated. Fuck that. No. If he says something like that, just like threaten him and be like, you're either in or out, in or out, in or out. And if you're out, your death, my death, is on you. Like, if people kill me because I was unfaithful, it is on you. And Joseph, too much of a simp to, to say no to that. Like, he's, he's gonna be, besides he's gonna believe you, like, he's so into you, like, he's so in love, it's almost sickening. So this is the plan. You're just gonna be like, I'm pregnant with the son of God. Um, and, yeah. Oh, that's right, your cousin Elizabeth, wasn't she uh, pregnant um, with a um, god-adjacent creature? She's gonna say you're trying to steal her spotlight. Well, who cares? That's even more credit to your story. You'll be like, the gods like our family. It's like it tracks, like first her and then you. It's fine, it's fine. I mean, she's gonna be pissed can she do and then for the baby we need to give him an impactful name like something that will um that people will remember uh like um kevin oh 
Brandon? No. You know what? We can think about that later. We have like nine months. So all we need to do now is just wait for the baby to be born. We need to make it an event. Like you need to have like the biggest baby shower. And you should do what those hippies are doing these days. They're like, oh, I'm giving birth. Um in a barn, like they're all doing that, like the natural method, <gasps> you should do that, you should do that, you should do that, and you should have a list uh, for your baby shower of all the gifts that you want, and I bet that if a lot of, because people love to gossip here, like they literally, they have nothing to do, they have nothing to do, they're just gossiping all day, every day, if news go around, goes around that you're Im impregnated with the son of God, kings might even visit you with like freaking gifts, with like gold, Oh my god, we're gonna be so rich. This is actually the best thing that has ever happened to you. Alright, so we can't we can't waste time. We need to um return to uh return home and prepare. Um and the first person you're gonna tell, how about your mom? Like you were good to your mom first. But you need to, to sound and look convincing, okay? You need to to, to sound like you you feel blessed. Yes, that's perfect. They're gonna call you Virgin Mary. They're gonna call you Virgin Mary. You're not gonna be, oh, you're not gonna be naughty Mary anymore. I'm telling you, like we're we're, we have to coin that. Oh, we have to do like merch and stuff. It's gonna be grand. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, the Virgin Mary. 